Okay, we're here with some more games. Welcome back, Fate. Hello. You having a good day? Yes, I am. Yeah, that's good. This uh, this matchup is Project 2L versus Solarfid. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves Solarfid, so you now why not check out his game? He's an incredible player, so I'm sure I usually learn something from watching him. Uh, the previous winner, so this is the champ versus uh versus someone <laughs> trying to take that away from him too so it's always nice to see uh just like high-end duelists and even even just like the uh the killers that people assume will always win events can always be taken out just the way the game works yeah definitely true uh so i'm gonna dive a little bit into the decks yeah sure so solifed's running a line decks it's probably one of the ones he was running last time or very similar to it so it looks like a bit slow fatigue -y. With uh, Sundrop Elixir and Auswins, Cycle and Heal. Big uh, Grandmaster Zero at the top end, just so you never ever die. Mm -hmm. um, and I think in the last tournament he was running like Songhai to support his line art. This time he's uh, switched that and gone with Vanna. I know he's a big fan of Vanna. Yes. He, I would, if anyone has fought him on the ladder, that's usually the uh, the flavor of Solifid you get. Uh, and his particular list is uh, super duper custom. Like, this is just like his deck. Very rarely have I seen other people pilot it as as well as Solifid, so uh, it's impressive because it doesn't actually have any healing in it. Yeah, so it's not a big margin for error, but that, I guess it's covered with a, a lot of the healing in the other deck, whereas this one's going you know, to be attacking on sort of a more of a swarm sort of axis, I think. Yep, so I'm guessing that the Lionar is there for uh, like burn, so against Songhai's and uh, possibly Magmar. Uh, so it... it it has so much healing that whatever the deck just runs out of gas, and then Solifid just plays like the tempo, uh, his like, uh, Vanner list with uh, the walls. Uh, I do I do like uh, walls in uh, this particular like version of Duelist because uh, it, it feels like they have like better support than they ever originally did. So uh, the other uh, benefit is like the two draw too. Yeah, so that'll be interesting. And the challenger uh, is Project 2L, who's uh, put themselves actually at a bit of a disadvantage here. Yeah. Brought only one deck, but I mean, then again, they say, you know, fear the man who's practiced one kick 500 times. Uh, yes, so uh, with this this particular deck, uh, looks like just to run a bunch of like high-end high, high -end threats uh, and just, you know, eventually run out of gas and has, still has like a little bit of that Sarlacc engine. Uh, it's interesting to see though it has a lot of twos rather than running a full suite of three uh like solifids all his decks usually have three of everything uh project seems to go well i can do three of the things that i need the most and then two everything else so i do i do uh like this particular deck because it has more options than say running three of everything but you won't see it as much yeah it's got a bit of flexibility there you yeah. know let's uh not delay and get into a game. We're good to go. Right, so getting into it, got Solifeds uh, just replacing away some of the early drops he's not going to use. And it's probably going to kick things off with this uh, Crystal Clocker. And to ditch the aspect too. No reason to have that early game. Yeah, it's a really nice card, and it also combines well with uh, this little uh, snow chaser. But yeah, that's mm -hmm. uh, way off in the future. Oh, good pickup now. Picking up the glacial elemental and the bear with the gravity wells. But I uh, do want to note that uh, project uh plays uh breath of the unborn so they actually have a decent answer to walls where unless you're lying are uh it seems like most decks are actually relatively weak to it uh without like uh light bender to deal with the walls so that one tech card's gonna come in strong yeah it's just I'm a sure one-off so copy though so uh... yeah i'm sure solifid knows too so they'll uh not overextend uh to go into that card so i uh, Nice start. The Gloom Chaser decided to put the the Wraithling behind, rather than getting like the the God the God uh Wraithling where you can access both tiles. Yeah, yeah. I think it sort of makes sense to do this like down left opening for Lilith. Like if you walk up, you are probably just going to get hit by a uh, infiltrated. 
crystal clogger that can kind of hurt um, uh sniped right there hits the wraithling so uh, project can uh, accelerate out they have uh ways to actually get that elemental so it won't do wreck havoc but it probably still will uh gotta have it to actually do it yeah um, solifid having like a snow chaser and had a snow chaser on board like that can uh, be a really nice way to proc that glacial elemental yep Project I was just gonna move up and spend some of their mana. What have they got? Ooh, stupid. Yeah, it doesn't seem too strong to me, but uh, they have put a lot of bodies on board. It's interesting. Solfit can clear off most of this, right? Uh, I think they actually can clear all of it. Yeah, is Barra Vesper? Is right? Uh, That's yes. Yes, uh, no, no, actually, no, I don't believe so. I don't, no, it oh, is. never mind. <laughs> yeah. it just gets scrolled over. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, does it change with a uh, 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 Draugr Lord? I'm like, I don't recall because usually, uh, me personally, I just deal with the bear right away. Yeah, yeah. And they also, that's a card they've like changed in uh, this test. Like, it used to get bigger with Vespers and now it gets bigger with Wolves, but it's still yeah. kept its own Vesper status. That's interesting. It's uh, also nice that they're supporting walls early. It took a while for the uh, the original game to actually get support. Yeah. Like, wonder if Emblem will even do the same effect. It's like in the back of my head because I know like it would be great. I'm already thinking about new cards because uh, yeah. <laughs> the the way that the the meta is right now, it'd be nice to have an injection of some stuff. But uh, Elemental gonna snipe bears played, uh, letting Lel know that. It is potentially a uh, go time for walls, so hopefully they have the Breath of the Unborn. Uh, Keeper's still alive, though. Yeah, it's the the biggest minion kept alive. Yeah. I know what you mean about uh, like waiting on this uh, new card stuff. I'm like really curious what they do with some stuff like sisters and grandmasters. You know, you just can't help but yeah. wonder. And I want the the nuts the nutso effects. I hope they release grandmasters with a. Uh, like the initial set that would be cool too i thought that was like one of the good changes they made uh for the game what uh kerplat oh the cpt made when they put the um all the grandmasters into the core set yeah yeah, yeah. so they wouldn't get rotated out now project off finally got this Ooh. answer so that's uh, yes. slightly good but super extension to do it though yeah but uh no no uh razorback so not like uh, <laughs> uh, just as I said that they replaced it the previous turn I believe yeah I think they did and he's opting not to go for it just to do some of the swarm uh, just, just waiting waiting for it uh, yeah it can be scary sure... oh god uh, no just want to make sure that the board is clear because of the, the DFC yeah so. exactly Stealing my point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. It was like, no, 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 no. It's like, right it's it. absolutely like the right thing to do. You can't leave this like swarm on board when you know they've got that kind of uh, finisher in their deck that can absolutely yeah. end you if you let them have four minions on board uncontested. Yeah, e even even then, it's like uh, they were kind of setting up to le like lead into that because they copied a Gloom Chaser for, for their keeper. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I, I, I feel like they have the card in hand and they just want to play it. And it's the, not a bad turn either, like recycling these snow chasers for damage, keeping pressure on. God, that card so annoying to me. <laughs> I suppose the, uh, the nice thing about killing a keeper is that keeper itself is actually a pretty good keeper target, especially like yep. in a swarm context. So respecting that's pretty, uh, pretty reasonable. Yeah, just keep spamming them out. Uh, thankfully, they can't do it infinitely like Magmar can, but uh, <laughs> they can do it. They can do it relatively a decent amount, especially if they sacrifice the target. Yeah, one mana for one body is pretty good in a like swarm deck. That's basically you know what you want to be sort of hitting par for. And it doesn't really matter that they're, they're little one ones because they they all die the same. You know, in fact, it's almost yep. good. And they're small. 
Actually, um, Swarm probably a decent matchup against walls. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, like, if they can clear off the walls, that's the sort of free Death Watch triggers, right? Yep. Yeah, actually, that's probably why Solifid's like replaced away the gravity wells and stuff. Just, uh, don't need them. Oh, here, well, here comes some more swarm. I wonder if they'll be able to get a uh, full surround here. Not quite. But I think it's a. You definitely don't want to leave it up. Um, but you don't have a foolproof way of clearing it unless you, like, mountain it. Oh, there we go. You just. Oh, uh, never mind. That instant replace to uh, snapshot. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Because you really don't want to be, like, stuck like, mountaining a. Uh, a big minion of theirs. Yeah, that's that's not even like a problem minion. There's there's bigger stuff. Yeah, and like mounted so good for clearing swarms of AOE anyway. It's actually the only uh, AOE uh, thing that Vanar has besides uh, Avalanche. Yeah. Actually, I've I've never seen it played. No one's played it. I, I've played against Vanars before, but no one's played it on the ladder. I was like, okay, card doesn't exist. Oh, mountain? The... No, no, avalanche. avalanche. Yeah, I was just thinking of the direct damage and area effect right. clear that uh, that Vanner has. Uh, well, I did see it a little bit in your previous tournament. I can't remember um, which player it was, uh, but it was a really good set. Uh, they were like doing um, like a Spirit of the Wild combo thing. Oh, so then nice. the, the avalanche was to punish if you like move off of like the the Spirit of the Wild side. You're gonna get avalanched. <laughs> yes. Oh man, it's good. Well, long turn for a project. Yeah, they're uh, way, way, way behind on board. This is not uh, exactly did, did Breath of the Unborn again. Yeah, can help. Yeah, true. But uh. Yeah, there are ways to so, uh, have it. Well, getting rid of the uh, best of Vanar minion right there. I don't know. I, I like that one's just good by itself, but I feel like Elemental is even stronger than Fenrir in conjunction with Walls. What do you What do you think uh, Vanar's strongest minion is? I mean, yeah, I, uh, it's hard to argue against Fenrir. Like it, you know, I know what you're saying about like Glacial Elemental being good in combo with you know other cards, but there's definitely something to be said for it just having a card that's strong on its own. It doesn't <laughs> doesn't need any like specific draws and stuff to come together. Like you just play it on like as soon as you get to three mana and it's just gonna trade up. Ah, such a good card. Uh, I like I like uh like seeing powerful cards though because uh allows decks to function i mean here's a uh, revenant already putting soul at 13 so they're they're actually in well trouble i'd say but they're gonna play the dragger lord and gonna end up buffing up the minions yeah dragger lord's gonna be uh, a big presence on board and it's gonna let them clear this uh ravager without uh losing their minions I think Solifeds probably feels like they're in a good spot. Like so ahead on yeah. the board, yeah. Even 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 being like uh, thirteen health, but uh as long as you got a Razorback hanging out, right? But uh the Razorbacks have been replaced, so it's uh interesting that they're not hanging on to that card. Yeah, if Project was more of a like an aggro, aggro deck, like maybe I'd be a little more scared that they could kill me over two turns. Bye. Don't think it would have to be. Down. It would have to be two revenants back to back. Yeah, no, that is possible. Void pulse. Yeah. yeah, but they already played one revenant, so it's it's, hi it's highly unlikely they have three. It is possible for them to have two, like especially because uh, projects like well, they can still drop a big minion, but no, oh, there okay. is one. Yeah, well, there, there, there's one right there, but not choosing to actually go. Uh, well, they're getting rid of the Dragon Lord. So yeah, that was going to transform uh, back into a 7-6 or something. Yeah, he's yeah, he's huge. Uh, Solifid at 9. 
Yeah. So I don't think they can kill even with uh, even with the suspect. The man doesn't give them quite enough. So they're probably going to need to answer this revenant and uh, put up a, a bit of a wall, and then they should be able to kill next turn. This uh, Bonchil Barrett makes the bear big. He's got another one as well. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'd All attack right. with the little two ones, because obviously ideally you'd want to like buff them up with a razorback, but you do know, like we've mentioned, he's running that Breath of the Unborn. If they die without attacking, then it's just a complete waste of them. I think I might mm -hmm. be tempted just to send them in. Might send one in. Yeah. Looks like uh, so I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. And Breath of the Unborn. That would swing so hard. Do they have it? I feel like if they had it, they would have just snapped and did it. <laughs> Even then, it's still like not the perfect answer, but it does. It does mean if if that's the solution, like Solofid's hand doesn't like really real but uh, rebuild up to like able to kind of like establish control again. Yeah, I guess the best you do to recover is like put out the walls and summon an elemental. The aspect of the mountain could clear yeah. off any sort of thing that they'd summoned after the breath. <laughs> they breath shadow dancer. Yeah, that would be good. Right? Yeah. No, no, breath breath is five, right? No, it's four. It's four. Okay, so they come. Oh wow. <laughs> That'd be nuts. Oh, it looks like they don't have it. Seems so. They haven't given up. Oh, they do. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So this is not... no shadow dancer. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they knew. Clears off everything but that wolf. <laughs> oh, and Sarlacc so... comes out. Yeah, I th think I'd probably yeah, play this gravity right. well in the mountain. Although, um, I'm not sure how good the mountain is because you can't kill the Sarlacc. You're just threatening five damage on yeah. your opponent, maybe. Yeah, I, yeah. actually, I, I think you probably still do do it because you want to hit them for 10 next turn. And if you have a 5-5, five, five, you have the other one in hand, you can potentially get off, right? Yep. Oh, Solifid knows now that uh, Breath is gone, so there's no... Oh, that's how I went really far away, too. Yeah, it's, uh, good for Solifid, bad for Project. Yep, also use the whip, too, so uh, I think they're definitely in trouble here. <gasps> Look, I'm looking at their deck list. Uh, uh, I, I guess another Revenant, like, but... Yeah, it's still, still well. dead. Yeah, I don't think they need to use that whip last turn because they just played a Sarlacc, which doesn't die to Glacial Elemental anyway. Yeah, uh, it didn't really seem like a... Oh, God, if they had Shadow Dancer in their hand, they chose yeah. that play. Because <laughs> I mean, they're just uh, like, I'm worried about it. Like, you just accept it, but we don't see their hand. Yeah. I'll have to go back to the uh, <laughs> the replay from their side and see. I like to speculate yeah. and see. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I I want to know. They have these <laughs> options, and they chose to do the whip. I don't know what a uh, project can do to actually get out. Like, it, Night Sorrow Assassin Shroud. You actually just don't have enough space. Yeah, yeah. It's I... a really good. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. They have a ephemeral uh, shield. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not really. The, enough. Um, Oh, so uh, Solifid's like forcing their opponent to be in that particular position, I felt was like awesome. 
because it really put uh project Lil in a horrible spot yeah but, uh that's it that's a Get nice game the mountains yeah gg Oh, uh, that breath that breath turn was huge, but Solo Fit is ready. Said, okay, if you play this card, I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the match. So GG to Solo Fit. Project almost had it.